All right, so this is the Wally that we are building. This is the main chassis. These are the tracks down here. Um, the door does open, but I'm not gonna show you that right now because it's wet still, we just painted it. Um, this is a build off of the internet. I'll include a link in the description for where we're building that off of. All right, so this is the, the track systems for that Wally. Um, they do have motors back here, which are taped off right now. Um, these motors have encoders on them. Um, you don't have to get them with encoders. The ones that are recommended don't have encoders, but these will because we're hoping to make this robot autonomous eventually. Um, we did do an upgrade on the gear down here, how it mounts. I don't know if you guys will see that very well, but it's all 3D printed. Um, the ones that originally were off the build we're making this off of kept stripping. I think you had to glue them on there. We didn't want to do that. So we rebuilt those gears and now they don't slip anymore. You, these are worm gear motors, so you can't turn these unless you want to break all of your gears off. So don't try to turn them. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just going to show some painting, or some of it while we're painting here. So we're just painting with some colors we mixed up. We just had some random colors laying around in a box here. Um, so we just tried to mix them to try to get some rust looking. It doesn't look a whole lot like rust, but hopefully once it dries it might look okay. So we'll see how it turns out. I forgot to mention, we also made a modification for this guard right here on the side. <clears throat> These used to just be a little tiny piece. Um, we added this long edge over here just to help keep the tracks from going in here and getting stuck and then it would um, lock the motor up. So we just added that piece to kind of help um, pop the tracks up and over. I may make it shorter so there's a little more flex in the tracks, but after we run it for a bit and test it out that way, we'll see how that goes. So what Wally is complete without his solar charging level. So we're actually building a little solar charging level here. Um, right now we're trying to figure out what material to put to fill in these holes so you can't just see the LEDs back there. Um, right now this is wax. So we're gonna see if wax, well I don't, I don't think we're gonna end up using wax because it's just, it's water soluble, or well it's not really water soluble but if there's like any heat at all. So it might be okay, we might end up just using that for these first <clears throat> to test with. Um, but I would like to find some sort of resin or something to fill it with. This will be connected to an Arduino, which will be run off of um, a single cell on a LiPo. So we can check the ac actual voltage um, on the Arduino, which is it's from 0 to 5 volts. These go up to a maximum of 4.2. So after we'll plug that in there, and then I think the lowest uh, LiPo can go is like 3.2. So we'll take 4.2 minus 3.2, <clears throat> divided or whatever the max value coming out of the LiPo is, minus the... Um, minus the uh, minimum voltage or whatever and just see which section that would fall under and then we'll have that amount of bars lit up on the front panel so that's how we'll tell what the battery level is on on the actual Wally as it's driving around and also it'll be kind of a cool little aesthetic just to see what his actual um, charge level is Just gonna pour the candle wax in here. It doesn't really matter if we get it all over the place because it's gonna go. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that didn't didn't go as well as last time, but it's fine because we're just gonna sand the front of this thing back off afterwards. At least that's the idea. So I think last time we poured wax down first just to keep all the um, other wax inside, and I think that would have worked a lot better here. Alright, so apparently the camera lens is pretty messed up. Um, we used to do a lot of welding, and I think there's a couple of welding spots on it or something now. Um, but anyways, that's what the board looks like behind the uh, little faceplate. So now we're going to put the faceplate on. Alright, so I got the board put back up. I need to just solder the pins in. It doesn't work very well right now. But as you can tell, uh, you can't really tell in the camera, but it looks quite a bit better doing it that way. Um, it really diffuses the light. And any from any angle now, it looks a lot better. It's a little bit of shine through, but hopefully that won't happen. 
once we build the back piece and everything so everything shines straight up um, even if we pull this piece away it doesn't work as well but hopefully we'll see because I'm still gonna build a back piece so it'll be about the front plate will be about 15 millimeters away from this piece um, if that doesn't end up working we're gonna have to switch to WS2 lights or something um, the single because I have a whole bunch of just single LED ones laying around and I think I might switch to those if this ends up not working um, but once I get the other part printed I'll show you that all right I'm gonna show you how to assemble the tracks and show you how you would set them up to put them on the robot so number one they have these little pieces that connect the tracks together as you can see here there's a longer side over on here and a shorter side um, the longer side goes in towards the inside so you have this piece it goes in there and then pulls down um, these are kind of hard to assemble and depending on how you print them like these ones we printed with a brim on them I would not recommend that because it's a pain in the ass to do everything or to get all the old material off these ones we printed just with no, uh, no supports and no, uh, no uh, nothing to help it hold it down to the bed and those turned out a lot better uh, we also printed the actual tracks on the robot <clears throat> are made from a from a uh, from the TPU rather than uh, PLA like these are and I kind I think we're gonna try those out we're gonna see how they work but pretty much you just take slide them in here and then I kind of try to push them down and then usually you won't get one in there so I'll try to lean it forward without knocking it out of the other side and then just kind of push it down with my fingernail and pop it in there. Um, so that's how you kind of do that. I'll put a, one more on here. Like for these ones right here, these ones are a lot harder to get in here, so I'll try to shove it in there with my fingernail. I'll pop it down there and then kind of pull it while I'm doing it. So we'll do that on this one as well. Make sure that we have it the right way. You also want to look and see on here there's a there's a side that's on the inside here. So the, these ones right here on the outsides and then the ones here on the inside of this track on the inside, you want to make sure you line those up right or it's not going to work. So we'll go ahead and put that piece in there. And then we're putting them in. So that's on the inside, so we're going to want to put that on the other side here. Uh, but I kind of like set these in here if we want to hook them up together. Try to get them in there. And then you just pull it sideways. And then when we put the actual robot together, I'm not going to do it because our Wally's already has all the tracks assembled. Um, this would be a little easier if it was an actual piece. But I usually set it up on end, that way you don't have an issue with it falling apart. So you'll have a full track all the way hooked around, and then you'll kind of angle the robot into it. But so if you had like this robot right here, you would take and hold it up here and kind of try to slide the wheels in with the full thing assembled on the side like that, and that helps not pull the treads apart. Alright, so this is what it kind of looks like when it's fully assembled. Um, based on the actual video, you want to have the little arches facing um, towards the back of the robot. That's what all the that's what the actual Wally has. If you mess it up, it's not too bad. Um, also, when you're putting these on, we, we usually disconnect, take these two wheels out. That way there's enough space, and you can easily put these back in afterwards. Um, so we'll have it... Um, I shouldn't do that one, but, but you can pop these wheels off, and we just take those off. And once you have, I can't pull that side out, but once you have that pulled out, it's a lot easier to slip these tracks on. And then you can just easily pop those back on afterwards. Um, so that's the easiest way to do it. This is our current looking Wally. He's looking pretty good. Um, we did have, these tracks were red. We spray painted them. You can see they're, we'll see how they turn out. They're a little bit of red. But I think it looks pretty good. So... Oh, 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 oh,